My goal with this video is to go through a basic admission using Cerner. When looking on YouTube, there wasn't much available on how to actually admit a patient, and I thought this might be useful. First and foremost, I'd like to go to Medicine Reconciliation. That's found right here. For this test patient, there aren't any medications listed, but you would go under Admission. You would choose each of the different medications, and whether or not you wanted to continue or not and then click Reconcile and start there. For actually ordering an order set on a patient, you can either use the Add button here or here. Our hospital has this set up based on admitting service. So for instance, we're in the cardiology service, we would start by clicking on cardiology. And each of our different diagnoses has their own order set associated with it. Your hospital may have set this up differently. We are going to use the acute coronary syndrome order set for an example. This order box stays open even though these orders are underneath. Sometimes if we're ordering multiple medications or labs on a patient, we can leave this open and keep ordering them in before we sign off on our orders. But for, for this patient, I'm going to add, uh, close this box either by using the X or the Done button. It's important to note these blue circles with X's through them. These all indicate that additional information is needed. For instance, you right click and hit modify. This allows us to go in and click additional information that they're requiring. Anything that has a yellow box means that this is required information and does not let you sign off on the orders until it's complete. So for this patient, we're gonna say that there was a non-ST elevation of my, they'll be in the hospital for two days. We're gonna put them on the CVU and then we can put in attending physician and or admitting physician. I'm not going to fill the rest of this out, but the rest of these orders can be selected by clicking the box. You can unselect them by unclicking. It's relatively easy to understand. Each of these are the labs. For diagnoses or for a stress test, often there's an indication for the exam. So for this patient, we're going to say precordial chest pain. To get rid of these boxes when they come up and get back to just the full orders, we can click on this black triangle. You can see that the usual orders for our acute coronary syndrome patient are listed. If this patient's going to be in heparin, they don't need VTE prophylaxis. We can click on the heparin box, right click to get rid of the blue circle. In this patient, they're asking whether or not this is for atrial fibrillation or for acute coronary syndrome. Again, we can get rid of this by going here. We can go back to the acute coronary syndrome admin orders, and then the rest of the medications can be listed. To get rid of an order set or to start over, we can just right click and hit remove. If there are medications that we want to add that aren't listed, so for instance, say my patient is intubated, uh, we could give them a rectal suppository of aspirin, or if we forgot to order the heparin order set, we could do the heparin weight-based protocol through here. If they have a beta blocker that is different from what we have in our order set, we can click it through here. The home button brings us back to the initial orders. If we're in cardiology, we can go back up by hitting here. This is your favorites button, so I have medications that I list free or use frequently. I can come back to these different areas. I'll be doing a separate video for discharges on patients, but this is a quick, short summary on how to admit a patient using Cerner.